So these forms are kind of complicated. There's a lot of little details. Once we get them, then we'll be able to knock out forms and just do form after form after form. So I call this little section post refresh oops. So remember this little page not so long ago where I'm like, look, it's great. We did CSRF and we, we checked it and it worked great and we put the CSRF token in and it's all good. Well, it turns out from the heights of success is the depths of failure. But it's not too bad, not too hard to fix it. So we just got to fix it. So the problem is, is if the browser sends a post request and it gets back a 200 in a page of HTML, which is exactly what we just did, and then you hit the refresh button on your browser, the browser is going to resend the post request. And if you go back, I said post requests are things that change. So for example, if you are uh, transferring money from your account to someone else's and you hit the transfer button, it's a post and a money gets transferred, and then transfer successful. And then if you hit refresh, you're gonna post it again. And so the refresh basically reruns the entire previous transaction. It doesn't just grab the page, it sends the post data again. So if you transferred $100 in one post, and you hit refresh, you're gonna transfer $100 again. So what happens is, is that because the browsers know that posts are potentially dangerous to the server, the user will get a pop-up, not from you, but from the browser to say, hey, you're this person who built this server application left you sitting on a post and you hit refresh and I'm going to about post it again. So are you sure you really want to do that? And the problem is the user doesn't even know what a post is, barely knows what's a refresh, and it looks like a mess. So the way to do this is you go to the page, you type in 42, you hit submit query and it'll say congratulations. And you look at it and then you press the refresh button, the refresh button, the reload button. And you press the reload button and it says, to display this page, Firefox must send information that will repeat an action such as a search order confirmation that was performed earlier or a money transfer. That is not a message from your application. That is literally because your application was a little sloppy and Firefox is like, I'm really not sure if we should do this, so I'm gonna ask the user. But it doesn't exactly know what to ask the user. It doesn't know what you just did and so, it's a yucky message, and what we want to do as programmers is avoid this. We want all the message, all the user experience coming from us, not having the browsers take over some of these things. And so it's just bad practice in general to send a 200 post, uh, to take a post request and then send a 200 with an HTML page back, okay? And so it's just ugly. Uh, so the browser asks, it's out of your control, it's ugly, it's bad usability. So we can do a little bit of work to make this never happen. So that's what we want to do here. So the way we do this is through what we call post redirect refresh. So up next, we're going to show how we're going to fix all this using a post redirect get refresh. These titles keep getting longer and longer. <laughs>